Hey everyone, Andang here taking a look at the updated character models and first let me say that I do like the new class stances that they've added in as well. I think that they're really cool and I think they just add a lot of personality to each of the different classes and I think the minstrels got one of the coolest ones. I mean it just, <laughs> they look so heroic and then they got the instrument on their back. I feel like that's just fantastic. So now onto the character models. So as you can see here, the face looks really good. I, I, they've definitely made some clear improvements to the face. It's not anywhere near as blocky or anything like that. Also, the hair does have some issues. This is still beta, mind you. It's clipping in through there. But in general, it looks way better than it did just last week. I didn't even show it last week because I felt like it looked bad. But look, here is the old character model. That's the new. It really is like night and day. Let me get in a little bit closer so you can see this. Look at just how unsmooth everything looks. It's much more blocky, there's a lot more edges and things like that. Whereas this looks nice and smooth. There's also a nice fade on the facial hair there that looks really nice. They've done a good amount of work into this, I can tell. It's, it's pretty good. It's still not as big of a jump as I thought it was going to be. And that's why I don't really understand this button to be changing back and forth. If they're going to have all the hairstyles be the same, which it seems that they are, and they're going to look fairly similar, then I don't know why they didn't make bigger changes. Right now I feel like that it's not that big of a change. I mean, the hair does look pretty different, and so I know any change at all, especially with the way that your personal character looks, is a big deal. But I feel like if you're going to have the toggle here, make a bigger change than this. I do think though it is pretty cool, it is a free update and it definitely looks like an upgrade. So here we can see the beard texture is basically the same. That might not be final, maybe they're still working on the beard facial hair there for the final design, but you can see that the head hair clearly does change there. If you look at it from the back it is quite a difference. It just looks much more natural and realistic. I mean, look at how blocky that hair is there. And in the updated character model, it's got nice curves, and it just has so much more detail. They still need to work at the bottom of the hair, though. It just does not look quite right yet. It's much better than what it was last week, but it still doesn't look quite right. So I think they are doing a great job with these character model updates, but I think they still have a lot of work to do. There's still a lot of issues with them. I understand why they probably don't have the elves in yet for the updated character models, because this hair thing I think takes a lot more work than they anticipated. But, I mean, look, that's before, that's after. It's such a change. I mean, look at the lips there. They look so unrealistic. And then we got some nice realistic lips. They're still about the same size as you can see, but they just look much more realistic. So I really do like these changes. I think that they've done a fairly good job with what they are limited with as far as time and things like that. I wish that it had been more of a change. I have a feeling this facial hair again is not final and things like that, but I was expecting a little bit more. And I feel like in the female appearances, some of them are a much more clear improvement. As you can see here, it is a lot nicer, I think. It just, it looks more natural. And again, in the back, you can see it has a lot more detail, where it's not a as low res of a texture as that one is. It's got nice detail here. I feel like whenever you have the hair end in something like that, it looks so much better because I feel like they don't know how to end the hair yet with the way that the technology is. And so when it is in a hairstyle like this, I feel like it's the most beneficial. Here we can see the old ponytail model and look how chopped off it is here. Whereas if you look at this, it looks so much more natural. I feel like this is a clear improvement. Obviously there's still some visual bugs when we're moving the camera around here but I think that this looks quite a bit better. So some of the updated models don't look quite right yet, but if you look even at the previous one, this is a clear improvement, believe it or not, I feel like. Uh, so, you know, they are doing things to make them be better. I feel like they still have a long ways to go as far as what needs to be done with these, 
but I think that they are getting somewhere to where it is at least worthwhile for them to be putting in what I presume is a lot of time into these new character models. Look at the difference here. So this is the old one. That's the new one. It is night and day, especially with the eyes. I don't know what is going on with the eyes on that one, but it looks so much better. So this is the new character models. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. I'm kind of mixed right now. I feel like that there is more work that needs to be done, but I can see what they're going for now, and I feel like that it is on the right path but I think that they have a lot more work to do to really make this be worthwhile for the majority of players. That's just my thoughts though. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and I will see you again real soon for more of Mordor.